Hello and welcome to Bradford Cathedral's Children's Space Crafts. I hope you are having fun in your half term. Today we're going to make a pumpkin for All Saints Day, which will remind you who you are in God's eyes according to the Bible. To do this you will need a pumpkin, a bowl, decoupage glue, brush, pens, tools for carving and scooping, tissue paper, a heart template, leaves, paint, a tea light and a holder for it. Start by painting the words I am on the top of your pumpkin. When you're ready you can ask an adult to help you cut the top of it. Now it's time to scoop all the yucky stuffs out just as God does with our hearts when we say sorry for the things we're not proud of. He forgives us through Jesus and gives us a new clean heart. To represent it, we're going to carve a heart on the front of our pumpkin. Be careful as you do it though, because they're quite tough to carve out. You'll probably need some help from an adult. When you've finished with the carving, you can start decorating the pumpkin with your leaves. First, you need to glue the pumpkin, then place the leaf on it, and then place another layer of glue, glue on the leaf. But you can decorate it with stickers or drawings as well. Be creative. I've got a feeling it's going to look amazing. Now, God has placed Jesus in your new heart, and according to the Bible, you are a child of God. We can find that in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Jesus also tells us that you are loved, that's in John 3, 16. That you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that's found in the Old Testament in Psalms 139. You are precious, that's in Isaiah. You are never alone and you are blessed according to Matthew's Gospel. And you are enough. And you may be surprised at this, you are a saint, that's found in 1 Corinthians. It is very important that you know these things about yourself and we are going to write all these wonderful promises down so we wouldn't forget them. I encourage you to do some treasure hunt and look up these passages in your Bible. We're going to need eight tissue paper hearts. If you're done with the cutting and writing you can stick them on your pumpkin in the same way that you did with the leaves. The last step is to put the tea light in it which represents Jesus in our hearts, which is always a place of light and joy. I hope you've enjoyed this activity and learnt how much God loves you and cares for you. We would love to see photos of your pumpkins and you can send them to info at bradfordcathedral.org. And don't forget, let your light shine. Thank you for joining us.